my name is Jay and welcome to the channel. Today we've got a really big announcement. We've got a new DLC coming for Planet Zoo, the South America pack dropping on April the 7th. This has been uh, something they've been building up for the past few days. They've been teasing us on social media with some kind of little games and pictures and stuff. And now the full announcement has been made and I am honestly so excited. We've got five new animals and over 250 new scenery pieces, which is huge. Um, the animals themselves are a pretty decent selection, I think. Some really iconic South American animals are coming in. Let's talk about the five animals and then we'll talk a little bit about the scenery pieces that we're getting. So first off, we are getting the Jaguar. So the Jaguar has been something that's already kind of been teased in previous, uh, within the game itself actually because we have this Jaguar mural piece that everyone noticed in the beginning of the game and they were like, oh, that means we're going to get a Jaguar, but we didn't get it in the base game and now we have it. So that's definitely going to be a standout for a lot of people. It's also the most arboreal of the big cats, so I think we're going to see a lot of really interesting habitats for the Jaguar. It's also a good swimmer, so I am wondering whether it's going to have a water requirement. So we'll see when that comes out. Next up, we have the Llama made famous by the amazing movie, The Emperor's New Groove, which is, again, an amazing movie. Please do watch it if you haven't already. It's pretty old, but really, probably like one of my favorite Disney films when I was a kid. <laughs> Me digressing, but yes, the llama. So it's South American camelid species. Uh, you know, you have llamas, alpacas, guanacos, vicunas. Uh, they're all kind of domestic and wild variants, respectively. And it is a pretty cool animal. From the picture that we've seen, they look adorable. And in real life, they're a pretty common staple of petting zoos. So you see them in petting zoos a lot and they seem to deal well with people. So I'm thinking in the game, we'll probably see them as a walkthrough habitat animal. So uh, an animal that you can have people walk through the habitat of. So I hope that that's the case because we'll be able to make our own little petting zoo areas then. Next up, we have the capuchin monkey which is uh, pretty great. I think we've needed a more traditional monkey in the game because the other ones we've had are a lot more unique. Mm. No shade on the capuchin monkey by any means, but the monkeys we do have in the game are the mandrill and the Japanese macaque, and they both stand out so much as kind of outliers in the monkey world, whereas the capuchin monkey is much more of a traditional, like what you would expect to see if you saw a monkey, you know? If you think of a monkey, this is kind of the image you get. And uh, I think they're going to be pretty cool. It'll be a great addition to anyone's primate house. So very much looking forward to playing with that. Next up, we have my personal favorite in the pack, the giant anteater, a mermecophage. It is, uh, well, mermecophage literally means anteater. It joins the likes of the aardvark and uh, the pangolin in that sort of a uh, type of animal. And these, this will be the biggest of that sort. And I just love giant anteaters. They're so weird and by now, if you've watched this channel long enough, you know that I love weird animals. And the giant anita, looking in the model, it looks beautiful. I'm very excited to use it. It looks adorable. Loving the coloration. Very excited. And finally, we have an exhibit animal, the red-eyed tree frog. Again, the colors are so vivid and beautiful. I love it. Um, might even have to pop in back into my Boomy Reptile Sanctuary save and add this little guy in, actually. Because, you know, we held all our amphibians there as well. So it'll be pretty fun. But yeah, super excited for these guys. Uh, I was kind of hoping for a slightly chunkier selection of animals, but I'm guessing that if we're not getting a bigger selection now, it means that maybe the next DLC will get something a bit more hefty in terms of the number of animals, but I don't mind because the selection is pretty great. Uh, my only complaint I would say would be I maybe would have liked a capybara, but I, I honestly, I probably can't complain because this is a pretty great selection and we're getting a giant anteater, so... Yeah, we're getting a giant anteater. That's amazing. I'm very happy about that. And not just the animals, though. We are getting some incredible scenery pieces. Just from the, like, the short video that they put up, the announcement trailer, which you should go and watch, by the way, I can already tell that these pieces are going to be, like, so useful in my current park build because I am building in a tropical environment, and it looks like we're getting a lot of really good new foliage, brightly colored leaves and flowers, um... A lot of trees with really dense vines and like uh, really dense foliage basically that really works in a tropical setting. And as for the building pieces themselves, it looks like we're getting a stone set which is kind of uh, meant to resemble you know Aztec architecture. 
And uh, the one that excites a lot of people, I think, is the bamboo set that we're going to get. That looks amazingly versatile and beautiful. I think that's going to be tremendously, tremendously useful in everyone's parks. It just looks so good. And I think uh, in my current park build, the one that uh, I'm not going to touch until this DLC drops, we're going to have a lot of fun with that, I think. The bamboo pieces look so good, basically. And it looks like we're getting some new thatch, uh, thatched roof pieces as well, which will be, I, I'm assuming, bamboo leaves and stuff like that. So, yeah, very, very excited. Very excited for this pack. It is, honestly, uh, such a breath of fresh air because we haven't had anything new for Planet Zoo for a while since uh, since December when we got the Arctic pack. So it's just so nice to actually be getting uh, a relatively hefty pack with you know a decent amount of scenery pieces and animals I, I, like I said I'm assuming this does mean we're gonna get something uh, a little heftier later on but obviously not too sure about that do apologize for the noise a second ago I had a really obnoxious motorcycle drive past so um, yeah <laughs> great timing but yeah that's all for the update uh, I will have had I will put up all the um, the pictures during the video, I'm sure you've seen them now already. So I do hope you're just as uh, about as excited for this pack as I am. If you are, again, dropping 7th of April alongside the bigger update, update 1.2. Um, I, I, sorry, not the bigger update, uh, the big update. I'm pretty sure this actual content pack is bigger. <laughs> but yeah, very, very excited. Uh, really looking forward to playing with all these pieces. Hope you are too. Definitely look forward to uh, some like videos of me uh, actually playing through with these animals, building them habitats, checking out the scenery pieces, and yeah, bringing them into our new uh, park, which is Sanikov Land. Uh, if you did like this video, please do leave me a like, leave a comment, tell me what your favorite part of the pack is, which is your favorite animal. And of course, I will see you all in the next one. Bye.